Hello, my friends. Well, small, little, short, whatever, vacation is over, and it's time to come back to work on my Vance RV10 uh, build. And now I'm starting to work on my wing, on my wings, and actually the first uh, part is the section 13, which is a wing spars. So, well, it's time to start. Uh, just a few words. So, um, in my previous videos, I showed that I. Uh, almost completed my uh, tail cone assembly, empennage assembly. There are a few things which I would like to change there and I will make a separate video about those changes, rebuilds, uh, fixes which I want to place on that part. Not sure when it's gonna happen but definitely in the nearest future. But for now I would like to start work on the wings and uh, focus on that work because that's really big amount uh, of work to do. Well, so basically that's it. Let's watch. If you remember, the process while I was uh, working on my empennage was like get all parts drilled, pre-drilled, uh, deburred, after that prepared, after that like when all parts, like all small parts of one big part are ready, we move into the priming, so it was like a batch of parts. Here with the wings, especially with the wings par and with those little two extensions, it's way simpler, like, they want you to make those two extensions, to prime those and to rivet those right away, so without delaying to the further process. So basically here, I'm working now with a little batch, and I decide not to use my improvised uh, painting priming camera. I just take the regular primer and I'm just gonna quickly do those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 10, 10 pieces. I just prepared them, I uh, removed with acetone everything from those, so they are clean and ready. Well, anyway, it's part of the game and uh, so far so good, process is going.
So, what I'm doing right now and what are those two large parts? So first of all, of all those two parts are wing spars. So basically, those two parts are the main parts of every wing. And the whole wing, in fact, is built around those spars. So this spar will be installed exactly this way, and now imagine that this will go forward, that's going to be the leading edge of the wing, and that's going to be the back side, backward of the wing. So our wings are built around those spars, and it's very critical to ensure that everything is done super precisely because spars are critical parts of any airplane and if something is done improperly or incorrectly in the wing spar that can lead to the tragedy tragedy because well spar is a spar that's whole wing is hold whole airplane is flies because the spars actually make their work to hold the wing now before that i was working on those extensions like those tiny little extensions which are about maybe one, two, three, maybe three, four inches extensions for the spars. And again, I'm not sure why Vance wants us to add those. My guess, my primary guess is because those wing spars are used across some line of the Vance airplanes, maybe in RV-12 maybe it's used, I'm not sure, and maybe 14, I don't know, but it's interesting to check actually. And my guess is that because RV-10 is heavier and bigger airplane, it needs a little bit more of the wing surface. So maybe that's the point to add that extension. So that's most likely it is. And I hope with during the build I will finally answer the question. So after that extension has been actually riveted, now I'm working on the J channels. So I'm adding those J-channels across the wing spars for the whole length of the spars. And again, I did a little mistake there. I, I mistakenly forgot about the, uh, those two extensions and I start to uh, uh, install those J-channels without actually riveted extensions because those extensions were still drying after the um, primer, after priming. But I hope it's okay, I did like two extra holes in J-channels, but I don't think it's a big issue here, because those J-channels are technically not the... Well, they're not that... I mean, the two extra holes won't be that significant. I will think about it, but I don't think it's a big issue again. So those J-channels, they will go through, the, through other parts. We will see, but so for now, I'm working on the J-channels, installing them, much drilling, lots of holes here. I mean, when it's, I mean, it's scary to just to just just count those holes and imagine each side, both sides, and so basically how many holes on this side we have to multiply by four. So I won't be mistaken if I say that here is about a hundred fifty holes. Let's say hundred holes, okay, for all lengths of this spar, multiply by four, four hundred holes. So I have to do too much drill, four hundred holes. And at some point I'll have to rivet that, I'll have to actually prepare those holes. Well, that takes time, but it's okay because that's the job I like to do, so I'm working on that. I already replaced once a battery in my uh, electrical drill. Not using an air drill for now, the only reason is it's going to be freaking loud here because it's compressor going to on and off, on and off every five minutes like it's air drill takes lots of air uh, so for now electrical um, instrument electrical tool is okay however I prefer to use the air tools of course anyway let's continue to work there's still lots of things to do
instructions from Vance are sometimes uh, well kind of hard to read like sometimes uh, I have to spend some time and read those like five times before I even getting understanding of what's happening there and while for empennage instructions as were well kind of easy to understand and to read here with the wings uh, assembly it's a little bit more complicated I wish Vance probably could add more images anyway right now I'm working on the um, wings bars and I'm coming to the part where I have to countersink the holes so I'm really scared to make a mistake here I don't want to reorder another spar <laughs> I mean the, uh, the other spar if I damage one so I'm really carefully reading what they want I'm trying to understand looking at the images well so far I got understanding and hopefully I will not make a mistake but well uh, just uh, comment under this video if you're assembling the same RV10 do you have the same issue like you have to read instructions more than one time to understand or is it just my personal issue because I'm technically not native English speaker right I like my uh, mother tongue or my uh, language is from other country but I learned English English while I was living in Canada so maybe that is a barrier but I don't know I mean I, I, I kind of fluent reading in English I understand all words but just the way how they phrase it how they put a word so you have to reread it a couple of times to get proper understanding anyway that's how it is I'm um, continuing to work and uh, the plan is to actually get my spars wing spars prepared because that's a big amount big junk of job related to wings I know the wings itself is way bigger job but here lots of holes and when I was working on my empennage on my uh, tail cone I remember I was complaining about how many holes are there well I must say here is way way more holes to work on anyway let's continue Well, that's it for today. So far I uh, started to work on my wings. I'm really happy about that. And um, I see that work on the wings will be a little bit slower just due to the amount of work, but it's very good because uh, there is no need to rush. Uh, there is a need just to make everything nicely, think about each hole you do, read instructions twice or even five times like I do sometimes and everything gonna be well and another thing that's uh, when I'm building wings I'm actually building two wings at the same time despite Vans manual uh, always refer to the left wing I found that it's it's worse and I, I read lots on forums about that too that it, it was to work right away on two wings it's just yeah it's twice slower but with the same time it gives you an ability to finish two wings at the same time you do them identically you're repeating the same job twice but you do it more or less the same versus if you finish one wing and you'll start later another one well I just found that I will work on two wings and as you can see I have two spars here attached to my table so obviously once this part is done I will jump to this one again this one this one and I still have to figure how to mount and attach my wings 
wing spars after I'm done with actually spar part preparations. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Leave me your comments and questions. I'll be happy to answer. And um, that's it for today. Have a good one. Bye.